वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल वी आर इन ट्वेल्थ ग्रेड बायोलॉजी टॉपिक्स एंड टूडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग ह्यूमन रिप्रोडक्शन एज यू ऑल नो वी हैव कवर्ड सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन प्लान इन डिटेल विद ऑल द इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम देर नाउ वी हैव टू स्टार्ट विद ह्यूमन रिप्रोडक्शन चैप्टर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन जेनेटिक्स चैप्टर विच इज चैप्टर फाइव सो चैप्टर टू इज डन चैप्टर फाइव इज डन इफ यू हैव इन वॉच दो वीडियोज प्लीज गो बैक एंड वॉच इट इन चैप्टर फाइव आई डन अ लॉर्ड ऑफ एप्लीकेटेड टाइप क्वेश्चन एज वेल सो प्लीज कवर दम बिफोर योर पीरियोडिक टेस्ट सो दिस इज चैप्टर नंबर थ्री दैट इज ह्यूमन रिप्रोडक्शन पार्ट ऑफ ह्यूमन रिप्रोडक्शन दैट इज मेल एंड फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम आई एम नॉट डूइंग बिकॉज आई थिंक इट्स रीडेबल यू डोंट नीड मच ऑफ अ हेल्प गैमेटोजेनेसिस इज समथिंग दैट यू नीड हेल्प विथ एंड वी आर स्टार्टिंग दैट टूडे विल गो टू स्पर्मेटोजेनेसिस इफ यू हैव इन सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल ये प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब एंड लाइक दीडियो इफ यू लाइक इट रियली एंड शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स एज वेल लेट्स गो एंड लर्न स्पर्मेटोजेनेसिस first and foremost what do you mean by spermatogenesis spermatogenesis plainly means formation of sperm genesis means formation and sperm obviously so where is it happening and when is it happening that should be the first question that you ask yourself it is happening during the puberty in males it happens only during the puberty okay uh, till the embryonic stage or till the boy reaches puberty nothing of that sort happens that is no sperm production happens all right so during puberty the part called testis which is a oval shaped structure two of them they have inside that inside this structure there are compartments okay so in this compartment there are certain tube like structures like so let's say this is the um, ovary of oh, sorry testes and it has many compartments like this this is compartment 1 compartment 2 imagine and inside that there are these uh, tubular structures and these structures are the site of production of sperm so we need to take this part and let's say this is the tube we cut it across like so and we are observing this part all right i hope that is clear to you and let's go there and learn that okay so this tube we have cut and we are looking inside what do you see inside this tube and what is the name of that tube okay the tube's name is seminiferous tubule and inside that tube you find two important cells one is spermatogonia otherwise the male germ cells one more type of cell is sertoli cells both are equally important for the production of sperm Now what happens to this spermatogonia? They are plain cells which are similar to our body cells. Okay, so if you say it is similar to body cells, then the ploidy of it, that is, number of chromosomes will be two n. The ploidy is two n. Correct? It's a regular normal cell. That's why it is two n. Now all of them are not special. Few of them are special. Okay, the ones that are special are called as primary spermatocytes and they under they go on to divide in a different manner from the previous divisions okay what is that different manner it undergoes meiotic division so any cell if it has to become double let's say there is one cell and it has to become two cells it usually undergoes mitotic division isn't it so spermatogonia probably was one or two in number it became two became four and so on and so forth it became millions in number okay and few among them which are special are called as primary spermatocytes and till now we have only seen mitotic divisions wherein the chromosome number becomes constant that is 2 n becomes 2 n only 46 is 46 only in the daughter cells that are formed but primary spermatocyte which are certain special cells among the spermatogonia they undergo this division called as meiotic division okay meiotic division has two phases phase number 1 and phase number 2 that is shown here phase number 1 it completes you call those cells that are formed out of it as secondary spermatocyte so till now what all has happened the cell which was here spermatogonia few among them they are going on dividing they, they are similar to our normal cells correct right? they are going on dividing and few among them the special ones only this is special you can see there are so many of them but only this is special that special one divides further into 
in meiosis meiotic division meiotic division phase 1 is completed you call those cells as secondary spermatocyte if the phase 2 is also completed you call them as spermatids clear yeah? so meiosis division phase 1 phase 2 is completed now in meiosis and mitosis basic difference is what if is if a cell is undergoing mitosis the first type of division the two daughter cells that are formed two will be formed okay two daughter cells that are formed will have the same number of chromosomes as the parent okay 2n and 2n but whenever a cell is undergoing meiotic division what happens to it is it undergoes two phases correct so phase number 1 is completed what happens it forms two cells but the 2n will not be the same instead half the number of chromosomes will be there okay phase 2 is what phase 2 is similar to mitosis that is this n will become two okay two cells of n chromosome number n this also will become the two daughter cells having n as the chromosome number therefore from the first parent cell four cells will be formed all four will have half the number of chromosomes as the parent okay so after the first meiotic division is over what do you call these two we call them as secondary spermatocyte secondary spermatocytes have is haploid remember this please you get this for mcq even if they are not asking the entire sequence they will definitely ask this okay further down the next division is also over you have four cells all of them having ploidy as n or haploid now we got spermatids are we done no we are yet to form the sperm sperm is also called as spermatozoa for that what should be happening a lot of maturation and differentiation should go on and that is shown here and that process has a name and it is called as spermio ayo okay ayo spermio genesis and then you get spermatozoa otherwise called as sperm so uh, from one spermatogonia <clears throat> many divisions happen and you got finally what from every primary spermatocyte four sperm will be formed you need to remember this because some questions are asked based on this i'll repeat the question from one primary spermatocyte four sperm are formed now if the question is 100 spermatocytes were there how many sperm will be formed what will be the answer multiply it by 4 400 instead they can ask the other way also 200 sperms were produced in a individual how many primary spermatocyte did it start with how to so work for that what do we do we divide it by 4 and we get 50 please be careful with while answering this if you are not very good with math like me okay so this is what spermatogenesis is we're not yet done okay not completely done spermiogenesis and what do you get you get sperm now does sperm run out of the uh, testes into the epididymis is not yet it has to get certain um sorry yeah certain nutrition okay so that is the function of this cells i told you in the tubule seminiferous tubule there are spermatogonia which is going to become the sperm and there are other cells called as sertoli cells i told you right those sertoli cells give the sperm food so what it does immediately as it is formed you can see here they embed their head that is the sperm embeds its head inside these sertoli cells to get nutrition once that is done they come out from the seminiferous tubule okay and that process are coming out from the seminiferous tubule There, there is another name for this and it's called as spermiation spermiation means what the sperm after being embedded in the sertoli cells after some time after its development is over after its nutritional requirements are done it comes out of the sperm uh, seminiferous tubule and that is called as spermiation now one more possible question let's cover how does the uh, hormones control spermatogenesis okay so uh, these are the points that you have to write to get those two marks 
or three months how much ever they are asking it for okay important question very important question so what are other points or key points that you should need to write first and foremost at puberty hypothalamus produces this hormone gnrh which acts on the anterior pituitary to produce fsh and lh fsh has its function lh has its function lh is luteinizing hormone l4 luteinizing hormone lh acts on leydig cells where are these leydig cells for that we need to go back quickly to the testes okay testes had many compartments i told you na inside the compartment what is there seminiferous tubule is there as you can see here other than the seminiferous tubule there is some space right the space is filled with certain cells called as interstitial cells interstitial meaning the inter space whatever is there okay interstitial cells other name of interstitial cell is leydig cell what does it do it has the function to produce androgens or testosterone especially to which help in spermio spermatogenesis first point you are writing another is fsh that acts on sertoli cells which one was sertoli cells other than the male germ cells or spermatogonia there were some cells which was giving nutrition and it is present where inside the seminiferous tubule please don't get confused between there is leydig and there is sertoli be very specific while understanding it okay this hormone fsh follicle stimulating hormone acts on sertoli which produces certain factors or proteins which help in spermiogenesis which one is spermiogenesis children go back and th think what which one it is this one that is spermatid to spermatozoa or sperm that differentiation is called spermiogenesis i hope it is clear now what is the other possible question this diagram will be given to you it will be r a b c d will be given you should be able to label it how do you label it what is the uh, logic here first cell okay where is the first cell can you uh, see where is it Sp primary spermatocyte from there it becomes secondary spermatocyte then it becomes spermatid and then from spermatid to spermatozoa this labeling you please learn it up because they ask this for two marks again okay so uh, that's all about spermatogenesis we will do oogenesis in the next video till then keep watching please subscribe and uh, thank you